Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video brought to you by the Town of Athens Wastewater Treatment Plant. Today we show you the process of cleaning and maintenance of our aerobic sludge tank. Before entering we pumped out as much solids that we could to ensure a depth low enough to walk in. Once we enter the tank, we start with some cleaning. Having an aerobic tank, we need to make sure the air system is working, free of rags, hair, grit, and anything else that would prevent oxygen transfer into the liquid sludge and takes up space in the tank. The air system consists of coarse bubble diffusers and are made from stainless steel. They are connected to the main air header, which gets its air supply from two 40 horsepower motors and blowers rated at 615 CFM and 7 PSI. This dissolved oxygen is necessary to keep the sludge stabilized and to prevent odors until it gets processed and turned into a Class B biosolid to be land applied. We maintain a dissolved oxygen, or DO, at around 2 milligrams per liter. All the trash that's being collected gets hoisted up by my co-worker with five gallon buckets and later disposed of at a landfill. Upon inspection we found a few diffusers to be broken and misaligned. Here some repairs are being made before we can put this tank back in service. Now that the cleaning and repairs are done, it's time to come out and go get some lunch. All that work made us hungry. Hello, Josh. What's up? Come on up through here. See this big daddy climbing out of the stinky hole. <laughs> After lunch, we got back in to show you a better view of the whole tank. This is the main air header that goes over the wall and connects to the blowers I mentioned earlier. This is our decant pipe. Periodically we shut the air off the tank and allow the sludge to settle so we can draw the clear water off the top. We do this to gain a thicker consistency before we process the sludge. Now we're all done and ready to put this tank back in service. Using the sludge pumps in our sequencing batch reactor, we fill the tank up just enough to cover the diffuser so we can turn the air back on. And here we go. Thanks to video magic, the tank is filled, the air is back on, and we are back in service. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, comment below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos.